Bernanke is set in a few hours to give a speech dealing with QE2, QE3. Uh, the mainstream media and analysts, Bloomberg, Fox, CNN, they're all saying, oh, yeah, $7 a gallon gas by next year, $5 a gallon of gas later in the year here. It's now a foregone conclusion. They're now admitting it's because of dollar devaluation. They're now admitting the stock market's going up because it takes more dollars to buy those stocks, just like gold is going up, silver's going up, oil's going up. They're not actually going up. The dollar is going down. So you think your stock market's worth more. You think your dollar uh, is, uh, you know, still has the same value. As, as, as this situation unfolds, we're going to be breaking it down uh, here later in the broadcast. We're not going to let this whole birth certificate issue completely take over, but obviously it's important. Now, in the last three years, uh, Webster Tarpley, um, Phil Berg and a lot of other people uh, who I know are serious investigators have said that, well, there's a cover up going on of the birth certificate. It was first raised by Clinton, Hillary. He wouldn't release it then. And then it's been raised by many others. Then, then they released the certificate receipt, which is not the original birth certificate. And they uh, tend to basically bait the issue by saying, no, this is the official birth certificate. People said, no, it's not. And they said, yes, it is. That went on for two years. Now, about six months ago, they said, okay, it isn't the original. Release it, Obama. Now they've released another one that we've looked at that is a clear photo, not a scan. And I've had our Photoshop folks look at it. It's got a shadow on it. There's white around the letters and numbers. It's as if they want people to say this is fake. I mean, the CIA, if they did make a fake, they can make fake newscast, fake bin Laden videos. They could put something out better than this. Uh, so more and more, I think it's a complete psyop uh, and, and, and that they held this back regardless of what the truth is to later make it the seminal issue of his credibility, not the wars, the torture, the signing statements, the secrecy. Uh, the executive orders, the corruption, the banker bailouts, the, the, the government-run health care, the nightmare of tyranny that we're witnessing, uh, the QE2, the dollar devaluation. It's all about the birth certificate. Just like with Clinton, it was all about Monica Lewinsky, not missile secrets to the communist Chinese. They love to pick issues like this. Now, he certainly has been covering it up. So either he covered it up to later make it a political issue when he released it, or he's wanted to hide something, and they've now had two and a half years to fake this, but it's a very shoddy uh, fake if it is a fake. I mean, I, well, they've got forensic experts looking at it right now, and for the next 25 minutes or so, we've got... Man Cal Muller, Eric Man Cal Muller, who's been saying this is a staged event, a setup that we've been suckered into for years. He's going to be popping in uh, to get his view on that. Uh, we've got Phil J. Berg, who was the former Deputy Attorney General of Pennsylvania, big NAACP guy, liberal. Uh, early on, just said, show the birth certificate. They've erased records in Kenya. They've, they've, they've frozen his college records here. Trump's now saying release those. The point is, did they cover it up to make it a political issue later and try to discredit those of us that looked at it? Or are these fakes? And he joins us, ObamaCrimes.com is the website. And we've got a clip of Obama with, very pleased with himself today uh, out there, breaking in, taking over the TV networks. Uh, they claimed it was all impromptu. It was clearly scripted. Uh, Trump's out there giving a press conference at the very time they break in. I mean, this is wag the dog type stuff. We're going to try to decipher it. Uh, Philip J. Berg joining us from his law offices uh, in uh, Philadelphia, uh, Pennsylvania. Phil, what do you think's going on here? Well, even if it is a legit birth certificate, I've raised the issue for over two years that that's not the significant part here. Significant is the fact that he was adopted in Indonesia. And I That's right. I mean, on record, you've been like a broken record here on this show and others saying, look, it's the Indonesia. That's the issue. They want us to look at the birth. Uh, Wayne Madsen said that yesterday. Look at the birth certificate. You knew they were hiding something going back three years ago. And two years ago, you said, look, it's Indonesia. When I first filed my first lawsuit, August 21st, 2008, I said to Obama, prove me wrong. Show me your long form vault birth certificate. He didn't. So we started checking into his life. And then we found out, I mean, it's right there. In one of his books, he mentions my, his parents had divorced. 
He says, my stepfather, Lolo Sotoro, returned to Indonesia before my mother and I. When I went there, I immediately went to school. Well, in the 1960s, Indonesia was at war. The only ones who could go to school there were, were those that were considered natural born. You also got that status by being adopted or acknowledged by your stepfather. Now, to, help, to enforce the stepfather, it's in his book, also, we have a school record on our website, Obamacrimes.com, which indicates his name is Barry Sotoro, which indicates that his nationality is Indonesia and his religion is Islam, which is Muslim. Now, that's significant because if he hasn't legally changed his name after being adopted, his real name is Barry Sotoro. So this is just, as far as I'm concerned, a smokescreen. I was on a radio interview this morning. Someone said, oh, Phil, now you're reaching for straws. I'm not reaching for straws. For two years, over two years, I've raised the issue of the adoption. It's a major issue. When he came back at age 10 to Hawaii, what was his status? If he was natural born when he was adopted in Indonesia, he, was, he lost his status because Indonesia did not provide for dual citizenship back in the 1960s. For dual citizenship, you need both countries to agree and Indonesia did not agree with the United States until 2005. Well, Phil, let me stop you briefly, and we're going to hold you, you know, for a couple segments and have Tarpley, Webster Tarpley, pop in with his view to augment and uh, add to the debate. We've got uh, Man Cal Muller popping in a little bit, uh, later syndicated uh, a radio host. My issue is something, something corrupt uh, is going on here. The way they wouldn't release it for three years, uh, you know, going way back into the campaign, the way they released this this receipt of it that uh, also had a lot of issues with it and kept saying this is the long form. We know they lied about that. It was almost like they were baiting the hook the whole time. Uh, but we know that private corporations, intelligence agencies, you name it, can make really good fakes of anything they want, including fake newscasts, fake video. They can shoot video of a few seconds of you and then morph it with computer programs that are almost two decades old. My question here is looking at this new long form birth certificate it looking at it in photoshop blown up i mean it looks like a five-year-old did it it looks fake if they were going to put a fake out it would be better than this something's going on here well we'll have to take a look at it i'm looking for the uh response from the forensic people the key you have to look at is the doctor's name and the doctor's signature i'm sure that matches up but it wouldn't put anything past me because you have to remember for, as you stated, for the past two and a half years, they've been saying that the document they put up was the birth certificate. It was not. So if they were lying about that, they could be lying about this. But even, I don't care what it is, even more significant is the fact he was adopted. Um, when he went to Occidental College, people remember calling him Barry. His legal name is Barry Sotoro. If he hasn't legally changed his name, his name is Barry Sotoro. As far as I'm concerned, Obama is a fraud. And he's a phony, and this is the biggest hoax against the United States of America in over 234 years. And I'm not going to stop on this. I'm going to continue. Now, many other attorneys have pursued different actions over the years. I believe I'm the only one, the only attorney in the country, who has brought up the uh, adoption issue. And I think it's significant, and I think that's why my phone's ringing off the hook today. Everyone wants an interview. I was interviewed overseas already by the Guardian in uh, England and and other places. Um, this well, Phil, to stop you again and, and uh, I mean, just inject the wider spectrum here, this has gone from a backwater issue that you, you, you going back almost three years ago, and I want you to give us that timeline brought forward. You were the first from my research and have filed lawsuits. You've been credible. You've been focused. You haven't circulated some of the uh, you know fake reports that have been out there purporting to be uh, you know his uh, foreign uh, birth certificates. But we know that people like Dr. Corsi, you know, he's been detained when he goes to Kenya. We know a lot of this started when the grandma over there said, yes, he was born here. And they've got a statue over there. And then Michelle Obama comes out and says in speeches years ago that we went back to Kenya, his home country. Uh, so there's all of this going on. It's reasonable to ask these questions. It was unreasonable for him to not release this earlier. So something's very suspicious. But now it's one of the biggest issues in the country. Donald Trump. Trump surged in the polls when he covered it. Uh, USA Today poll yesterday, 62%, uh, not believing he was born in this country, not sure. And so when he said in his speech today, the vast majority of Americans know that this is baloney, uh, this may be desperation. This may be a fake document. I think they miscalculated. I think this is going to blow up even bigger, Phil. Well, I think so, and it should. But also we should 
as we're looking at that birth certificate, we should really concentrate on the adoption issue. It's really significant. Um, I had an argument with an immigration attorney last year. He wouldn't buy the argument about uh, uh, with Obama. I said, let's ask about the children from Haiti being adopted here in the United States. He said, oh, that's easy. They sever all relationships with the people in Haiti. They take on the uh, name of the family here in the United States, and they take on the citizenship here in this country. Well, I said, then why is that different with Obama? He said, it's different. It's not different. Obama is a fraud. Let's see all the records now when he came through an immigration at age 10. Let's see what happened. See, I really believe that he didn't. He came through in his Indonesia passport. I believe he's not natural born. I believe he's not naturalized. I think he's an illegal alien. And therefore, his term as a U.S. senator from Illinois was fraud. And the salary and benefits should be returned to the U.S. Treasury. We're going to come back from breaking and with uh, Man Cal Muller get your uh, view on some of the statements that he makes and uh, vice versa. And then we've also got Webster Griffin Tarpley uh, popping in a little bit with Phil Berg in the segment after that. And we'll be holding you to about 45 after or so, Phil. Is that good? That's fine. That's fine. Okay. I'll stay with you as long as you want. All right, fantastic. Also, we'll talk about where your court cases are going. You know, the issue here is Obama has lived all over the world. Uh, he's got at least two other names that are in uh, school records. Uh, the, we've never seen a president with these type of uh, you know, clampdowns on records. And why wouldn't he release it years ago? And now it's a big national issue. I mean, is the system pushing this because it's a nice diversion from other things that are happening, like the dollar imploding, gas prices exploding, or, or is there something to it? Eric Mancal Muller, big syndicated uh, host on WABC in New York. He, he doesn't like Obama, but uh, I've been on his show for many years, and I, going back over two years, he said he thinks it's a setup. Um, not by folks that are asking the questions, but 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 overall, Obama hasn't released it playing along because he doesn't want you looking at the rest of his record. But we've got the original investigator, Phil J. Berg, who himself's a Democrat and was just asking the questions uh, here with us. And I can attest, you can pull the videos and audio up. Phil Berg's been saying for really more than two years, Indonesia is the issue. And they admit his name's Barry Sotero. Well, you had to give up your citizenship to become an Indonesian citizen. And so we know there's been secrecy. Is that why uh, they, uh, they've tried to keep everything secret? Uh, but I got to say, man, Cal, um, imagine uh, there I was live on your show today for an hour and a half. And while I'm live with you at about 930, the president cuts in over Donald Trump. The whole thing clearly staged. The network's all ready. I don't know if Trump's involved in this, but you had the point that uh, Trump's a big Democratic donor. The numbers are out. He does favor Democrats. Uh, is he trying to throw things here? Uh, you're on the air with uh, Phil Bergman. Cal, what's your take on this? Well, Alex, I, I've got a lot to say. Look, I voted for Ross Perot, and Ross Perot was a loser. I think that I think what we're seeing here, look, I've never, I, I, it's, it's so incredible. You and I are, are, are doing our little dance. We're arguing. All of a sudden, Donald's on TV. We're listening to it. And then Obama comes on and says, I was at the White House watching this, and I had to jump on TV. Imagine this. Jumping on TV, all the networks broke into Donald Trump. Not to, uh, not to say that we had gone to war or that we had been attacked, or, but he, he was watching it. He couldn't take it anymore, and he came out with his birth certificate. I mean, it's a, it's a powerful thing. This birther issue, to me, has always felt like a setup, as I said. But look, now Obama has given a major boost and major credibility to Donald Trump. I wonder if they're not setting Donald Trump up to be the spoiler. He will siphon off enough Republican votes that stiff Mitt Romney will, will be a, a dead duck, and, and he'll split the vote, and Obama will, will uh, you know, be back in the White House. It does feel like uh, this president wants desperately to have Donald Trump run against him because they think, maybe they're wrong, they think that he's an easy one to beat. Well, he's got a lot of skeletons and a lot of uh, skeletons that are already out of the closet. Uh, that is Trump. Obama does not want to run on his record. Uh, so there's two ways to look at it. They kept this secret for so long, have acted very suspicious because something was there. I mean, what about him going back two years ago saying that the receipt uh, of the birth certificate, and we'll put that on screen, was the birth certificate, and they'd say you were a conspiracy theorist if you pointed out that, no, that's not the long form. And again, we'll put that uh, on screen. And then now they do release the long form. I mean, Mancow, how long did they do that? 
Well, what did you just say? A couple of years. I, I mean, Phil Berg, I, I, look, I, I've been following Phil here, uh, and, and it's not my show, Alex, but, I mean, I, I always, here's what I wondered. I always wondered if it would, if, if the real birth certificate would list him as a Muslim. That's, that's what I thought. I don't know. Phil, I mean, does this, does this end this issue for Phil?